erection dysfunction. Well, what is it? What can we do about it? Well, first off, it's the inability to be able to become aroused as a man and not have the ability to have a full erection or an erection at all. It can be just brief enough to, to get the person who has the problem disgusted and discouraged and depressed and they just avoid the subject of sex. So how does an erection occur? Mother Nature built in a system. Here's what happens. Um, some type of stimulation sets that system off. All of a sudden the heart rate changes, the blood pressure changes, the hormone contents change, and in the process the blood flow to the penis increases. The little muscles that make up the erectile tissue tend to relax and the erectile tissue engorges with blood and produces uh, an erection that is firm enough for intercourse. At some point when that stimulus is no longer present, this whole process just quietly resolves. I think it's important to recognize that between the ages of 40 and 70, about 50% of men, 5-0%, half, have some element of this problem, minor to complete. Cialis, uh, Viagra, these are known as 5-phosphodiesterase inhibitors, just a chemical name, and what it does is it brings about that chemistry that allows the increase of blood flow, relaxation of the muscles, engorgement, erection, and the kinds of things that go with the mechanical aspects of sexual arousal or erection for men. In some situations, you actually have to have a higher concentration of medication to really make it work. So needle injection of a different preparation, but really the same basic chemistry into the erectile tissue, known as injection therapy, is a, a popular and very efficient therapy. So this is an overview of the treatments. Here's injection therapy. Now this is the suppository system that we can put into the urethra and this is a vacuum device which works very well by the way. Works very well by the way. Most people who have erection dysfunction can get a first class erection with a vacuum device. And I've had a number of patients that have taken these and been happy with them initially. But the usual story is this, Doc, you know that thing you gave me or told me to get? Works. But by the time I get the job done, I forget why I did it. Here's the malleable prosthesis. It's in the erectile body and you can flex it to the erect position as I showed you or push it down to the less than erect position. Now this is uh, an inflatable prosthesis it's not the one that I use most frequently, but certainly have used. And it has a pump in the scrotum and inflatable cylinders. And when you pump this pump, you inflate the cylinder and you can create a, a good quality erection. And the advantage is when you release the erection, the fluid goes back into this reservoir and the penis uh, detumesces or becomes soft. My personal view though is this three-piece prosthesis is probably the uh, best. We put the reservoir in the abdomen, the pump in the scrotum, and the cylinders in the erectile tissue. And then this pump mechanism allows the shift of fluid from the reservoir into the erectile uh, cylinders and can give a, a good quality erection. The thing about it is when you let the fluid out and put it back in the reservoir, the penis feels very normal. Uh, it's soft and it's God-given, I, I think is a way to say it. So it's a, it's a unique and, and, and very good solution. Satisfaction rates are high. Um, reliability is better than 90%. I think the best testimony to its quality, though, is the patients. 96% of patients surveyed say they do it again. Well over 90% have recommended this type of treatment option to their friends. It's been covered by most insurance. Medicare covers it, sort of sets the standard. ED is common. We have good treatments. Um, 
and for all types and for most patients. You know the story. It's up to you. Take action.